Hello everybody and welcome to Nathan on Shuffle and to my latest episode of New Music Weekly. This is the show where I give you guys the top 5 prog headlines for the week, give you guys some info on some new prog singles, and give you updates on the channel and what's going on here on Nathan on Shuffle. So thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, it would be appreciated if you could comment or like on the video if you're so inclined. And if you could subscribe, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, everything really helps me and helps me in my goals to reach a bigger audience in the prog community. So thank you guys for your help, and let's dive into the weekly news. Uh, this is June 9th, 2023. No, it's not. <laughs> this is June 16th, uh, 2023, at the time of recording this. And as usual, I like to start with the new releases for the day. Uh, first of all, we have Acrust and their new album, The Approbation. Uh, this is their debut record, a Norwegian prog band, very much in the mold of bands like Opeth, Porcupine Tree, Tool. I did a review of it on the channel that I really enjoyed putting out there. That, that was done this past Tuesday, so... If you are curious what it sounds like or want to hear more, I would really encourage you to check out the review. There's also several other reviews out there from all of the big prog people, you know, on uh, websites and on uh, on YouTube and all of that as well. So uh, definitely places to be able to check out the new record and check out people's thoughts on it. So I would strongly encourage that one. Also, today saw the release of Motorcycle's new album called Yay. Uh, this is a Norwegian group that does almost a psychedelic type proggy sound. And this one's a bit more stripped back, a bit more laid back and acoustic in comparison to some of their bigger, heavier albums. But it's really pleasant. There's some great moments on it. I've been enjoying it this morning, so definitely a recommendation there. And then also King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard uh, came out with their new album. They're a very prolific, mostly jam band, you know, psych rock kind of thing and they do a lot of different styles and things within the the universe of the music that they're a part of this one's more in the thrash metal type vein the album's called petro Jergonic apocalypse or dawn of eternal night and annihilation of planet earth and the beginning of merciless damnation so a uh, really fascinating record i still need to dive in a bit deeper into it but if you like more metallic sounds there's a lot to enjoy here similar to bands like you know metallic or something like that. Very thrashy, very fun, uh, a band that's always quirky and willing to play around with interesting concepts. So uh, definitely worth checking out their new record. So those are the big ones that were on my radar. I know also outside of the prog realm, there's some interesting new releases like Queens of the Stone Age have a new album, more in that standard hard rock style vein that I'm interested in checking out. So and I'm sure there's other big releases that uh, a lot of you will be interested to point out and mention in the comment section. So really cool and interesting release day for sure. Uh, item number two on my prog uh, items list here, uh, Southern Empire return with their first new album in five years. Uh, Australian prog rockers, uh, Southern Empire are one of my favorite new prog groups their last album civilization was just really excellent and showcased one of the best most promising new prog albums in my opinion uh, had a really great epic track on it features sean timms who was also a member of unitopia who was one of my favorites so a really great group that does just your standard classical symphonic prog style with a little bit of a modern twist and edge to it uh this new album has a new vocalist on it sean holton who replaces their former singer Danny Lopresto. A uh, fantastic sound so far from what I've heard. Just the opening track is available. It'll be on my prog singles list and sounds excellent. A lot of punch, a lot of fun symphonic prog touchstones, and the vocalist sounds incredible. So the album is coming out on GEP Records on September 4th. It's going to be called Another World. Seven tracks on it. Going to be available on CD and double marbled vinyl. So uh, should be available for pre-orders soon, I'm hoping. So that should be a really exciting new prog release to look forward to for this fall. Definitely one that will be covered and featured on the channel. Uh, item number three, Hawkwind announced Royal Albert Hall Show and Space Ritual box set. So kind of a double header of news for Hawkwind, who are of course legends in the space rock uh, style mold in the progressive rock space. 
Um, they're headlining London's prestigious Royal Albert Hall to celebrate their 50th anniversary of their legendary Space Ritual album on September 23rd. It's entitled An Evening of Sonic Destruction, 50 Years On, Celebrating the Rituals and Odyssey of Space. So the band will, will be supported on the the evening by the equally iconic Crazy World of Arthur Brown. So um, at the same time, they're also announcing from Cherry Red Records a 50th anniversary box set of the classic 73 live album as a mammoth 10 10 disc CD and Blu-ray set coming out on the same day as that Royal Albert Hall show. So it should be a really cool, big, deluxe set for those of you who are collectors. Um, they also were on the news here recently announcing the Stephen Wilson remakes of their classic album Warrior on the Edge of Time com coming out on June 30th. So a lot of cool Hawkwind news if you're a fan of them. Uh, a big show coming up and a big box set and the Stephen Wilson remakes. Uh, first time on vinyl. I believe it was part of a previous set, but now it's going to be a standalone on vinyl. So really cool stuff. Uh, item number four, Peter Gabriel had to cancel his Nottingham show. Uh, which is coming on Tuesday, June 20th. Unfortunately, he had to cancel due to logistical problems beyond control. Uh, Gabriel's on tour through Europe right now, ahead of his expected release of his new studio album, I.O., which he's been releasing tracks of throughout the year on the, on the full moons of each month. Um, this UK show, uh, he's playing his first UK show at Birmingham's uh, Utilita Arena on June 17th, so it's unfortunate that he's not able to do this show in Nottingham. Uh, unfortunate news there, of course, um, and there's been a statement that it's beyond their control, and they're uh, very uh, apologetic about the situation, and if you have a ticket to that show, uh, you should be notified by the ticket provider and receive a full refund for that show. So uh, too bad uh, in that space, but really good news that Peter Gabriel is continuing forward and has continued plans to keep touring and the new album, the tracks from it sound really excellent. So uh, some silver linings there, but unfortunate that he had to cancel that uh, specific gig. And then item number five, just a various smattering of touring news. Uh, Jethro Tull announced the Seven Decades U UK tour uh, coming in April and May in 2024. A run of 11 shows kicking off at the Beacon in Bristol on April 17th and wrapping up at Liverpool's Philharmonic Hall on May 6th. And it includes uh, a show at London's iconic Palladium on April 22nd. So there was an announcement already of a tour um, on the U.S. side of the equation. Um, that's starting up in August of this year in Illinois, running through the U.S. Um, so that should be a really cool tour as well. Um, but now we're getting news of next year's UK version of the tour in 2024. So a lot of cool dates to look up. And I'm sure tickets will be on sale at some point in the near future. So just something to look forward to. I also saw Marillion announce a tour before it's Christmas for this year. Um, they always do some really cool and fun things around the Christmas holiday. And so they're going to be playing a couple dates um, in Europe and England. Ten dates, it says. An assortment of their favorite tunes uh, should be really cool. Their little mini tour culminates in a performance at London's prestigious Roundhouse. Um, so that should be really cool. Tickets go on sale. Looks like they're on sale probably now. I think they're, they went on sale today. So should be a cool little tour for Marillion. Uh, definitely wanted to mention that. Um, and also Tears for Fears announced a th three special UK tours for September. Uh, Tears for Fears are a really, really well-established, great a uh, pop prog band. A lot of prog people really like them, even though they're more in the popular vein with their material. They came out with an, an album not too long ago called The Tipping Point, which was really well regarded. So they have a couple really interesting shows coming up in the UK. Uh, they'll headline the Radio 2 in the Park event at Leicester at Victoria Park on September 16th. Two days after, two intimate performances at Prism in Kingston. So should be a pretty cool set of shows for that band. And now heading into the prog singles list, like I mentioned, that Southern Empire track, Reaching Out, is going to be on the prog singles list. And a great new video and really great promising sound for their upcoming record. Motor Psycho, who I also mentioned as one of the big new releases, has a video out for their track, WCA. So that's linked in the prog singles list. I've put uh, the track, Envy of Nuns, That Was Then, 
Uh, they have a new video from their EP that they just released, uh, which is really cool and really interesting. More poppier vein, but it features Alex Lifeson from Rush, so I think there's a little bit of a, of a prog adjacent connection there. But really cool, female fronted, uh, pop rock type stuff that's really well done. And then we've got a uh, Sigur Ross, a uh, Blueberg. Uh, sorry about the pronunciation, but uh, and I, these Icelandic post rockers, very, very familiar to many people. Probably another release that I should have mentioned in the new releases section. Uh, they have a new album today as well. Um, so they have this 10 minute track, uh, a video of it that's really great atmospheric and beautiful music to listen to, almost like soundtrack type sound to it. So that's definitely one to check out in the list. And then a little bit on the more obscure side, Sons of the Tundra have a new album out today called The Only Equation, a UK prog metal group. It sounds very promising. This track is a, is a single cut of one of the long tracks from it called The Rot. So should be one to check out. Also, uh, the video is down below in the description. So those are the, the headlines and the singles that I have for you guys today. Uh, as for the channel itself, I already mentioned that this past Tuesday I did a review of Akrust and their new album, The Approbation. Incredible debut record from this Norwegian prog group that somewhat taking the modern prog scene by storm and I think is well recommended for all of you people who enjoy the same music that I like. So uh, definitely check out that review if you haven't yet. I also did a top five of best classic prog instrumentals, which was a lot of fun to put together, um, sticking mainly to the 70s prog era. I'm going to do a follow-up this next week of the top five uh, modern prog instrumental tracks, which may be expanded into more of a top 10. Uh, I have just a lot of choices to pick from, so uh, there will probably be a bit of an expanded list there for your guys' interest, but it showcases a lot of my taste in modern prog, and I'm really excited to delve into that. And I'm going to do a review of the new Lars Frederik Frosley album, uh, Fire for to Linger, which is a really great uh, modern uh, symphonic prog album that I think a lot of you will enjoy from the keyboardist of Wobbler. So it should be a really fun time. So a good week. Uh, there will be another great uh, prog song Sunday to enjoy this week. Uh, we may be covering a Yes song, so that's a good little tease for those of you who love Yes. And we should just be continuing forward from there with a lot of great new stuff on the docket. A lot of great new releases, a lot of stuff I'm excited to talk about. I almost feel like I don't have enough shows to get through all the albums that I'd love to talk about. Considering doing a big catch-all type show of all the albums I've been loving this year so far, but I'm not quite sure when that would be coming out. But just more of a quick shot review of a bunch of different things that I don't think I'm going to be able to get around to doing a full-on review for. So that could be something to look forward to in the near future. So a lot of great stuff, a lot of fun to be had. The channel's thriving. I'm really excited about the direction. It seems like people are liking the content. So please let me know in the comments how you feel about the channel, any suggestions, anything that you guys would like to see different. But thank you guys so much for joining me, and I just want to hope you guys enjoy the music out there. So thank you guys, and I'll hopefully catch you in another episode. Bye, everybody.